All right, we're back doing another review. But uh, before we get started, we want to uh, make an announcement that all the uh, contest winners from here on out for the giveaways, they are all going to be announced on the Facebook page. And I'm going to put a link in the description box down there so you can access that. But make sure that you uh, get in touch with that page and you follow it so that uh, you can stay privy to all the information and contest winners and you know behind the scenes information. So we'll definitely uh, get that going. The previous winners will be announced here in the next day or two. All right, so uh, for this round of giveaways, we're doing another one. This time we're gonna do a $20 Amazon gift card. And if you wanna be involved in that, same as always, all you gotta do is be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. And the only thing you need to do is leave a comment on the video down in the bottom and hit that like button right there. Give us the old thumbs up. And that's it. All right, we're gonna jump into it. Start it off uh, outdoors with a little shooting. All right, we're out here today checking out the uh, FMK uh, 9C. Um, this is a gun made in California, and it's very, very reminiscent of a Glock 19. That's why I'm a really big fan of it. I don't know if you can tell the ergonomics and whatnot, but I'm definitely digging this thing. It's American made. I'm a big, big fan. We're gonna shoot some uh, Perfecta and some Tula 9 millimeter out of this, just because we kind of want to switch it up and make sure that um, we give it a fair chance to jam. We'll see how we do. Not bad, no jams. Definitely uh, went through it. I've been shooting this for about a half hour now, and I'm pleasantly surprised. All right, uh, we just want to say thanks to our uh, sponsors, our unofficial sponsors, uh, ShootSteel.com. They had sent us this steel target to uh, practice on, so we want to thank them. Definitely check them out because I'm a huge advocate for their product, just because they have really, really good pricing. It was like 75 bucks to 150 bucks for a steel target, and that's what you get right there. You get that little mounting bracket down at the bottom and the, the steel silhouette for like $78 or something like that. I don't even remember the exact price, but check them out at shootsteel.com. Let's see how we, uh, how we do. Yeah. We have to bust out this uh, Glock 19. All right, so we're gonna uh, put in some more of this Tula ammo. This is a uh, Glock 19 mag. We're gonna throw it in there and kinda see how we do with both of them. Honestly, it's really hard to tell the difference with these two just because they're so similar. And I gotta say, comparatively, side by side, I really like I really like the FMK grip-wise. This is a little bit thicker. The, the FMK grips, if you come up and look a little closer here, they're kind of indented, so it kind of conforms a little bit better to your, to your hand. And I'm just really, really digging that. Now, overall features, I really just love Glocks. I mean, everybody who knows me knows that. I just love Glocks. such a good feeling and honestly side by side they're, they're really hard to tell the difference it's really it's more a personal preference you can spend the 550 on a uh, Glock Gen 4 or you can spend 350 on the FMK American made all right so like the title describes we are checking out BAM this is the FMK 9C1 Gen 2 and that's a mouthful yes I realize that um, I probably would have done something a little bit different with the name personally but I'm not going to fault them for that. They made a very solid product. I got to give them that. Uh, a little backstory on this, just from the uh, research I've done. FMK is a company based out of California. I know, it's a shocker, just because you know that's like one of the hardest states to get or carry or any of that with anything to do with firearms. It's very difficult in California. Uh, so it was kind of uh, shocking to me that this gun was so well made and that it was you know produced in California. Very impressed by that so far. So uh, a couple of things that I noticed and that you may notice also is that this thing is remarkably close in, in uh, kind of overall features, even including these sights. What do those sights remind you of? Check that out. They look kind of similar to a Glock 19. This is my Gen 4 Glock 19. And this is going to be more of a, uh, a review, but it's also going to be kind of a comparison just because these things are so freaking similar that it's hard not to do a comparison on them, to be honest. I mean, they, they are similar in almost every way, shape, and form here. Let me see if I can get these right on top of each other, see if I can show you. You see how they, like, they almost line up? Yeah, almost line up in every way 
you can imagine they're just right there same size and everything I'm, I'm super impressed by it anyway I'll just show you here my hand size like I do in a lot of my videos is just sub three inches so it's just around the three inch mark that's where my grip is that's how it is with knives guns blah 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 uh, let's check this thing out from the bottom portion of the magazine which is right about there to the top is just under five inches so just shy of five inches that is just freaking impressive because I think even the Glock is bigger than that and this is a Glock 19 if I didn't already say that yeah see look at that they are they are almost the same size I think that this one might be a little bit bigger than the Glock 19 by a hair maybe let's see one more time oh yeah they are just like a hair difference maybe like uh I don't even know it's just a tiny tiny bit off but they are so similar in size and the way they feel and I mean if you check this thing out some of the features that I really like about this and just for everyone who's freaking out I don't know if you noticed the triggers on both of these is already squeezed so they are empty but if you're freaking out about it I'll show you they're both not loaded nothing in the chamber um, they have so many similar features like this right here. Now, I like the Glock takedown lever a little bit better the, right there, but it's got these little teeth that you can bite into so you can get your fingernail in there and really you know work with it. This one does not have that. It's still not that difficult to actuate. Let's see here. It still comes down fairly easy. Let's see, pull those there, pull the trigger, comes right off. So, yeah, and if you look at the internals of this thing, the one thing I did notice right away, and I actually don't have one to compare, but the Gen 3 springs for the uh, for the Glocks, they almost identically match this. I'm going to have to try that one day. I think if I can get my buddy to bring his over, his spring for his Glock Gen 3, we might just switch them out just to see what happens, you know, and obviously we wouldn't want you to try that at home, and it probably is dangerous, but just for giggles, we might have to give that a shot. Just to see what you know the deal is because I swear I mean look at the look at the way these things are here let's see Let take this thing apart just to kind of give you a look at the internals here let's drop these magazines these things are eerily similar I mean you can kind of get a, a good look there and they just look so so I don't know I mean and even the grooves on the side we slide the right in here and here. They're just they look so similar in a lot of different respects. Now I haven't really played around with it to know whether or not these uh, the magazine release is is interchangeable or not. With Gen 4, it is. You can switch them out if you're a lefty like me or you know whatever. But I don't I don't know if these are or not. I haven't really played around with this. I've only had this for about three days now, give or take. I bought it just because I was so infatuated with the idea that it was an American-made Glock clone. And I have just really, really enjoyed this thus far. You know, taking it out, shooting it, it's really accurate. The ergonomics are awesome. Like, it just feels so great. And the one thing that I noticed about this that I was really excited about is that with this one, even though I absolutely love it, I paid, I want to say six something because this was flat dark earth and I didn't want to wait. Um, I paid a little bit extra, but I said 609, something like that for this Glock, just because it was the flat dark earth and I was really into that at the time. I'm still into that, clearly. This one was 350, brand new, $350. And there are just so many features that I absolutely love about this gun. There's a couple that I don't, you know, for all intents and purposes. We'll move this Glock out of the way just for the time being. Um, like, for example, the things that I love about it, it is so comfortable in hand. It feels like it's just like meant for my hand. Even when you have the magazine in there, it just, you have that little bit of extra space. So if you can kind of get an idea of where my, remember we had the sub three inch fingers. So right there underneath, it feels exactly like a Glock 19. And it just, it feels a little bit more ergonomic just because of like this curve down in here or this indentation. It just really fits your hand really, really well. And I really like how they added this rubber back strap or whatever you want to call this now these might be interchangeable down the road because I can see that it's very similar in the Glock sense that you can pop these out and add bigger back straps um, from what I can find about the company itself it looks like it's fairly small and I think they've been around for a few years now but it looks fairly small just because they don't have a whole lot of information on their website but from what I can tell this thing is super super well made one of the things that I, I really really love about this minus the fact that you know it does have its downside, still empty. Um, this release is fantastic. 
Now, one thing that I noticed with the Glock, and some people may notice this, and yes, I do understand that they do make aftermarket Glock parts, and I understand that they have one that has a small little ramp there for you to put your thumb your thumb on, but I don't like I don't think I should spend that money on this to be honest. I'm a lefty, so I'm never gonna actuate it on this side. I'm always gonna have to do it with this hand or you know pull back on the slide itself. But if you're a right-handed person, this is kind of a pain in the butt stock. Like you're kind of really pushing down on it and it's a really small piece of metal to really, you know, start to use that slide release. And I just, I'm not really crazy about that. It's not necessarily a bad thing. And yes, they do make extra pieces, but that's another $15 you gotta spend on top of that. I just don't see it. With this one, I freaking love this. This slide release is amazing. I'm not even joking, I don't know if I can really show you it but it has little grooves on it and it is just so ergonomic for your finger like you can just get up on it and you don't feel even the, the slightest bit of tension it's just really really nice and it doesn't snag on anything it's pretty narrow and flush with the with the frame itself so this thing is just perfect I like this all day over the stock one for the Glock I even like it a little bit better than the aftermarket one so that is just fantastic the, the takedown lever, or the, yeah, the right there, that was just, meh, it's okay, but it's not bad, you know, it's not an issue. And it has the same, well, let's see if, because somebody freaked out about me showing the serial numbers. Um, it has basically the same, uh, you know, braille there for a flashlight or for a laser. It's very, very similar. I just, I mean, I swear, these things are clones, but the one thing that kind of was weirding me out, and I think it was just the ammo, I don't know if this shows up, the front of this, the bottom half got kind of dirty relatively quickly and I think that was the perfecta ammo we were shooting out of it but so far super super in love with this um, now to discuss a couple of the uh, downsides there was a recall on this gun that a lot of people were kind of concerned about I saw a video when I was looking about this before buying it that there was a video on the trigger and the trigger and how if you drop the gun a certain way it would discharge the discharge the round in the chamber they have since fixed that, so they have remedied that, and you can tell when you buy it by that number right there, that 316. If that's on the trigger, that is the, the new trigger that does not discharge when dropped. So this one is safe. This one's good to go. Like a year or two, maybe three, I don't know. I think it was 2013, 2014. They recalled all those triggers, and now they have this new modified one in, you know, just to show you. It is empty, and I realized that right here. Let's see. That's where it breaks, and it just feels good. It really does, like squeezing this thing, no issue. It feels a little bit lighter than the Glock trigger, and I couldn't find any information about it, but let's see where the, the reset is. Right there. I like it, it's, it's very similar to the Glock. Let's see here. There's the break, and the reset. They're about the same. They are about the same, and that's the one thing I'm really, you know, impressed with so far. This is really cool because it's American-made, and it really advertises that. It even says, thank you, Armed Forces. I'm just so incredibly impressed with this. Now, one of the things that they could have done a little bit differently is these grips are not very grippy at all. So in the rain or if you have sweaty hands, it may become an issue, but you could always get, like, skateboard tape and cut it to fit right here on these kind of indented spots where your fingers go and that would just feel awesome there I mean you'd really be set with this thing just for that like if you just put those little grips on there I feel like they might even make talon grips the uh, they might make some like the ones for the Glock that would fit right on this thing I don't know I haven't really researched that portion of it as far as like aftermarket stuff but uh, that definitely is an area where this gun could use a little bit of work is with the grips just because none of this the only part of this that really grabs you is the the rubber portion on the back and that doesn't even really retain it too well <clears throat> but other than that very very impressed now another thing that I, I read that people were complaining about that they had issues with was uh, the magazines because the magazines were supposedly drop free and what that means is that when you when you hit the magazine release there the magazines would drop free for like a tactical reload. So if you were in a shootout, you would drop the magazine and it would just come right out and then you put another one in and go to work. But with these, I guess with the earlier models, this indentation here was really causing a hang up because it was really a lot of pressure in there. And so the magazines weren't dropping free. You'd had to pull them out. Well, with these new ones, not an issue. 
they fall right out. Same as a Glock and same as <laughs> almost every other gun on the planet. They just fall right out. So they've really remedied all the things that made this gun, I guess, iffy for some people. And at that price tag, I mean, really, what can you expect? This thing was just phenomenal. Now, obviously, it has these crappy Glock sights, and I'm not, you know, too crazy about that. But these are always interchangeable, and they do come with, uh, let me see here. It comes with a little sight adjustment. So you can take that sight and, and this sight, little alternate ones. You can put them on there if you want. You can go buy aftermarket ones because I'm pretty sure that these are comparable in the sense that, yeah, I'm, I think they fit the same way. So all those Glock aftermarket sights, they should fit this gun. So you have a lot of variety there in the sense of uh, replacement parts and stuff that you might want to do if you want to customize your own thing. But all the negative stuff, like the trigger that they were talking about before and the magazine, you know, and how that wasn't free falling, they've remedied that stuff. So there's really not a whole lot you can say negatively about this thing. I'm pretty impressed and I'm probably going to keep this just because it's, I mean, I'm happy with it so far. It has this uh, loaded chamber indicator there and it supposedly pops out when you're, let's see, like right here when I push this thing, that pops out like that. I don't know if you noticed that right there on the back. Um, I didn't really pay attention to it when I was firing it. I didn't think that it really made that big of a difference, so I'm not that concerned about it, but it is there. So you have another, you know, little thing to indicate whether or not you have one in the pipe. Uh, yeah, but, you know, I'll throw in some videos in the corner where you can see me shooting this thing, but so far, very, very, very impressed. The biggest downside, and I'm going to throw this out there now, the biggest downside for shooting this thing thus far that I've been able to find I got two magazines with this, and I went online and I tried to hunt for them. You cannot find magazines for this gun. I looked on the website, the company website. I looked on Cheaper Than Dirt and Buds and all the other ones, and I just could not find a spare magazine for this. So as it stands right now, um, the, I mean, if you have you know experience and you've found some, please let me know because I'm looking for extra magazines for this. But as it stands right now, it looks like you're kind of stuck with the two that you got, and that's just kind of how it works. Um, while using this thing, I was shooting just great. I was shooting excellent. I was so, so happy with the gun overall. The only thing I would say about it is that we did have one failure to eject, and it only happened once. I put hundreds of rounds through this thing, hundreds. And we had one failure to eject, and I think that was due to the ammo because we were shooting that uh, Perfecta, that Italian brass stuff. And I've had issues with it before with like the MMP, the shield. So I'm not going to attribute that to the gun. It could have been a lot of different factors. Could have just been that it's crappy, you know, European ammo. Who knows? Either way, this thing handled everything else. We mixed it up. We put the steel Russian crap. We put the, the all just all kinds of random stuff, PMC bronze and a million different other ones. And it ate it all. It was eating it all. It even ate all the, PM, the, the um, Perfecta stuff. So thus far, very, very impressed. Go check this thing out. They have so many different colors. They got red, they got flat dark earth, black, purple, like a million ones. I think they even have an orange frame gun. So if you're into those crazy colors or you just want to get a budget Glock and not spend $600 on one like this, go pick, your up, uh, go pick up an FMK. This thing is freaking sweet, guys. I'm, you know me and you know that I would not endorse something if I didn't like it. Obviously, I take a lot of flack for some of the suck videos that I do where I, you know, just bash things. If they're not good, they're not good. And I love this thing. Like, I'm so happy. And to be perfectly honest, if I had bought this before I had bought this, I may not have gotten the Glock 19. I mean, I do love it. I do love the Flat Dark Earth. But to save $200 and get one of these, I probably would have got this, fired it, fell in love with it, and skipped out on the Glock. That's probably how it would have gone. So, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely give this a shot. Check it out before you before you go purchase that $600 Glock. Um, I'm just giving you, you know, my honest opinion on it. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you get on that uh, Facebook page because if you want to be, you know, up to date with who won the contests and whatnot, you're going to have to be on that page to know about it. So make sure you follow the page and you can stay, uh, stay with the program. All right, fellas. Later.